Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDC Joe video, and yep, today we're looking at another expanded deck, Giratina Aromatease. Before we get into this deck, I want to ask you guys a question. What's your favorite song from the 90s? Um, I've been listening to a lot, and it's going to be very hipstery, but I've been listening to a lot of Smells Like Teen Spirit. Um, I love that song. Um, my favorite song from the 90s would have to be California Love Though by Tupac, but actually well, I'm curious to see and to hear what your guys' favorite song from the 90s are. I listened to a lot of like old throwback 90s songs recently, and uh, yeah, anyways, let's take a look at today's deck. Another expanded deck, might be my last one for a bit because Ultra Prism's coming out soon. You know, we gotta play some standards soon. I'm probably gonna cover some expanded decks from Dallas depending on which ones do good or if they're even that interesting to look at, so we'll see. But we're looking at Giratina Aromatease and Expanded. This deck is pretty interesting and kind of tries to beat those special energy reliant decks like Night March, like Zoark variants, um, or really just any deck that plays special energy or relies on stadiums and tools get completely shut down by Giratina's attack Chaos Wheel. Now Giratina EX has always been a pretty pretty good card. It's never like been insanely good, but it's always been pretty nice with Seismitoad EX and Garboder and Darkrai. So we're going to be looking at the attack Chaos Wheel. It does 100 damage, for four energies, and you're probably like, how the heck are you going to build this thing up that quickly? If it needs four energies, you're crazy. <laughs> no, I'm not. Because we have Double Dragon Energy and Geomancy and Aromatease, which can build up a Giratina in like one or two turns, which is kind of neat. So we're going to Chaos Wheel them for 100 damage. Now, 100 damage is not a whole lot. You barely even two-shot most GXs nowadays, but with Choice Band and Fighting Fury Belt, that all changes. And then they cannot play any... Pokemon tool cards, special energy cards, or stadium cards from his or her hand. That's insanely good. That's amazing. Some decks only play special energy and have no way to stop Chaos Wheel. There's no Pokemon Ranger. The only way around it is to play Guzma or Lysander and hope that it sticks. If not, Chaos Wheel is going to destroy you. And that's insane. The stadium is also pretty nifty too, with Dimension Valley and Skyfield being popular and expanded. The tools are okay, I mean, stopping Choice Ban and stuff like that is nice. Rescue Scarf against Trevenant is okay too, I guess, so Chaos Wheel hits like a truck and has a very strong side effect. Now with Aromatease and Xerneas with Geomancy, it's really easy to build up Giratina. So we can do Geomancy, which we can put two Fairy Energies from our deck to two of our bench Pokemon. We're going to use Geomancy as a way to build up our Giratina. Um, and then what we can do is we can get Aromatease into play, and we can Fairy Transfer, move the Fairy Energy to Giratina, attach a Double Dragon Energy, and use Chaos Wheel, and dominate the game. And that's insane. Um, so that's how we're going to build up our Giratina. Also, Aromatease gives Giratina a very deadly combo with Max Potion. Now, you might be like, how the heck does Giratina use um, Max Potion when, when you move Double Dragon Energy? It doesn't count as a Fairy Energy, because it's not, it's not called a Fairy Energy. Jokes, it is. Double Dragon Energy is one of the few energies that counts as a Fairy Energy for Aromatisse's ability. So you can use Aromatisse's ability, um, and you'd have to move the Double Dragon to another Giratina or n another Dragon Pokemon, because if you move the Double Dragon Energy to Xerneas or Aromatisse, it gets um, automatically discarded. So the idea is to do Max Potion, so we can move all the energy off Giratina, which will all count as Fairy Energies, and then we move them to a benched Fairy Pokemon, and that counts as a fairy. And then we just max potion, and then we're good. And yeah, that's basically the idea of the deck. Sorry, I'm just texting my friend here. But yeah, that's the idea of the deck. Um, Giratina locks down certain archetypes. You will struggle against stuff like Gardevoir, Volcanion, and Darkrai, because they don't use special energy and stuff like that. Um, we do have 1-1 one, one Noivern. Noivern is pretty strong. We can use Boom Burst for a GX attack. And we can use Sonic Volume and Distort, which are very good. I mean, Distort's really powerful. Um, Sonic Volume's also really good. It's more of a dumbed-down version of Giratina's Chaos Wheel, because it only prevents special energy. It does not stop stadiums and tools, but it does do 120. And really, what we're looking for is the effect of the special energy. So we're not really trying to get rid of stadiums or tools. We're mainly trying to just shut down their energy attachments. So Noivern works perfectly too. Noivern can be good against Night March if they do somehow find a way to counter Chaos Wheel or Sonic Volume. We have Boom Burst, which can take out multiple Jolteks at once. Distort's a really good attack too, which can shut down almost any deck completely. Um, we do play one Xerneas Break in here. Um, if we need to have that one, you know, big, hard-hitting Pokemon, we have Xerneas Break. 
because double dragon energy does count as two fairy energies so it counts as 40 extra damage for life stream so if we want to use Xerneas break as a nice backup attacker we do have it here to help us out a little bit um, to hit you know big numbers because again Giratina and Neumann don't really do that we got our two Lele's with Wonder Tag we got our 3-3 Aromatease line and that's really it for the Pokemon so we go into the items we got one comp search to be able to get any card we need cough cough double dragon energy one field blower garboder is popular you know two max potions because we can do that combo with aromatease i'm playing one nest ball i like this card because we can't really use bridget in this deck because we can't bridget for giratina so i've gone with nest ball because sometimes you can go pokemon fan club and then do uh, nest ball we got one stretcher to get our pokemon back one special charge just to get our double dragon energies back just two obviously four ultra ball to grab our pokes we got four via seekers we got three fairy gardens i really wanted to play four in here but i can't find room but again we have ace roller we have guzma hopefully it's okay but fairy garden gives you free retreat this is really good with this idea of your opponent trying to get their special energies back with stuff like trapping something in the active so fairy garden can help us there giving us free retreat is just good one ace roller it can be good with max potion you know it works with like max potion one chorus for draw we got our one guzma no lysanders in here just one guzma one Hex Maniac, it's just sometimes really important to play this. Now, Giratina does have an ability which prevents it from taking any damage from Mega Pokemon. However, Mega Pokemon aren't super popular right now because the only Mega Pokemon that, you know, see any play in Expanded is stuff that rely on Skyfield. And with the popularity of Sudowoodo, Widow, stuff like Mega Ray and Mega Guardi aren't really doing too well in Expanded. But, you know, the ability is still there. But, again, using Hex Maniac is sometimes life-saving. Two ends for draw support, three sickest for draw, one fan club. It's better than Bridget. Bridget is sometimes better because you can grab like two Spritzies and, you know, Xerneas, but fan club's better because you can grab your Giratina with that. Two choice bands, and I've gone with two Fighting Fury Bells. The reason I've split the two, sometimes, you know, doing 130 is good, um, but the belt is sometimes even better because then your Giratina gets a lot more HP. It goes to 100, or not 100, sorry. What am I saying? 210 HP, which is insane. So your Giratina has as much HP as a Zora GX with Fighting Fury Belt, and I like it more than Choice Band, because then Giratina is still doing enough to two-shot Zoarks and stuff like that. Four Double Dragon Energies, and seven Fairy Energies. This is my Giratina Aromatease Expanded deck. Let's try it on PCGO, see if the deck is any good. See you guys in some matches. Alright guys, let's get some matches with our Giratina Aromatease deck. We'll see how this goes, and we'll see if we can get a nice game in or two. And uh, we might play against a few awkward matchups. Kind of the nature of a deck that relies on um, kind of the engine of your opponent playing Special Energy. It looks like we're against Night March. Now, this is obviously one of those good matchups. We'll see how this goes. We are going to win the coin flip, which is good. I want to try and get a decent start going. Okay, no way better, Giratina. Our hand is absolutely awful. So I'm going to start with Noi Bag. So start with Giratina. We get knocked out. We lose our Giratina. It's not good. And we'll see if we can draw anything. My opponent's going to Mulligan, which is going to help us a little bit. And we'll see if it's actually Night March. It is not Night March. Okay. It's playing, it looks like, Aerodactyl. Which I'm fine with. Alright, we get to draw three cards, so that's good. And we get absolutely nothing. <laughs> okay, there we go. Alright, so we'll get rid of Colrus and Giratina. And I got rid of... Okay, I thought I got rid of Aromatease. So, we'll grab Lele. Alright, do we have our Noivern? I think we do. Yeah, we do. Okay, so we got Noivern. How many double dragons? We got all our dragons, all our fairies. Okay. So, what I'll do here... Grab Lele... Go for, I guess, Sycamore? It's fine. I kind of don't want to lose Max Potion, but, you know, it's fine. I could grab Fan Club too, grab Spritzy and Xerneas, and I could have kept the Chorus, but I think I'm just going to dump the hand and go from there. I do want to lock him, though, before he gets Aerodactyl, because that thing can get rid of my energy. Alright, so we do find our Noivern, which is good for next turn. We don't have another Double Dragon, though, so if we can get one, we can start the lock next turn. So I'm just going to pass. And we'll see what happens next turn, if my opponent is able to get an Aerodactyl into play. So we're going to see an Old Amber. Let's see if my opponent finds Aerodactyl here. He does, which is not good. 
We can't one-shot that either with Giratina. We have to do it with Noivern. We could technically knock him out next turn with Noivern, though, if we can get lucky enough. We'd have to get... We'd probably have to get Aromatease here. If we get Aromatease, we actually do knock him out. So, hopefully we can get Aromatease here, and we might be able to Sonic Volume him and get the lock that way. Alright, so... We'll see how many Aerodactyls he gets in play, but he might only be playing four DCs, and if he has no way around that, we are golden. Alright, see so he attaches it now. The effect of getting rid of the special energy is going to be really annoying. And it looks like he pulled off a Maxi's Hidden Ball trick, too. Okay. Let's see what happens. And before he plays Ranger and we're screwed. Okay, so we're going to see the Maxi's. Played quite a few cards. Let's see if he gets any more Aerodactyls going this turn. Hmm. Honestly, I don't know if I even want to go for a uh, um, a knock. Because, like, the thing is, we knock out a Rangaroo. We're not going to shut down that DCE he put on his Aerodactyl there. Technically, I would have to... I'd have to get an Aromatease and a Guzma here to knock out this or a Lysander so it doesn't look like we're gonna take out that Aerodactyl. I do want to knock it out though. Okay he got rid of his own Guzma so that's not good. He's predicting the play. Because if he gets rid of the special energy we're in trouble and I think a couple fairy gardens are prized. Ooh he actually drew the Aromatease. I just wish we had a Guzma or Lele to do. He's so much better. So we'll end him here. Don't think it matters because he already did Primo Wishing. No Xerneas. I was hoping we find a Xerneas because we can maybe start to attack it with Xerneas Break. He's probably going to find a Via Seeker. He's probably going to Guzma this Double Dragon. We have one in our hand though. So let's see if we can make this work. We do have one in our hand. So... Should be okay. I could even just do Boom Burst here and just go that route, but I need to just stop him from playing Special Energies. I could even, like, maybe distort him since he plays, like, a billion items. We'll knock him out. Save him, I guess, not bad. Hopefully my Special Charge is not prized, because we're going to need that, but he'll hit me. We attach, D we attach another Double Dragon. We knock him out. We're golden. Ugh, that's not good. This has to be in its hand, too, right? Yeah, remember I made the mistake of thinking this was in the discard pile, like your Aerodactyls would have to be in your discard. At least he's getting pretty bad with those old Amber hits. That's good. So as long as he doesn't end me and we don't find a Double Dragon, we should be good to knock him out and be in a pretty good spot. And then from there, I kind of just have to watch out what he brings up to try and trap. And that's why we I should probably just dig for Guzma. He's ending me! Oh, come on. Okay, let's see if we find Double Dragon. We do not. We do get via Seeker, though, so hopefully that helps. And he did hit heads on Twist Mountain. This man plays like a trillion items, though. I wish I was playing tra Quad Trash Lance with Wreck this dude right now. Um, so we have to hope we hit Double Dragon here off of... Probably Colrus? Actually, no, we'll do Sycamore, because then I can play the Rescue Stretcher. But I don't know if I want to play that, though, actually. Do I want to decrease the odds of finding the Double Dragon? Like, we don't hit Double Dragon here, guys. This is not good, because we need to hit this to knock him out. We knock him out, we're in a good spot. So we need to hit this Double Dragon. And in the meantime, I need to build up a Xerneas on the bench. Okay, let's see what we draw. Nest Ball. Okay, we can play that, grab Xerneas. Special Charge is indeed prized. Okay, I don't think he plays any E-Hammers, because that would just make no sense if he's doing Jet Draft. kind of wish I played E-Hammer, though, not going to lie. Just going to thin out the deck a little bit more. Grab and take out one of the Spritzies. I think I'm just going to dump the hit. Like, I really don't want to do this. I could... Mm, we'll Chorus for 10. I'm not even going to bother playing... Um, I'm not going to bother with the Stretcher. I don't want to decrease the odds of not hitting Double Dragon. Okay, we're good. Do we get Max Potion? Okay, we don't. We do have Fairy Garden. I could play that now, but I might... I think I think couples were prized, so I don't know. Really wish I got Max Potion there. I only have one left. So I can do Stretcher now. But I don't really know about putting gear... I might, maybe I should have saved that for Noiburn. Alright, that's fine. And we 
will Sonic Volume knock him out, and now he cannot play Special Energy. So we'll see if he tries to trap us in the active or not. You can see. There you go. This is the power of the Giratina Noivern Lock. You just smack them. You could put Salamence in here too, I guess. I mean, Salamence won't be bad. 50 coins, nice. So let's just check out what he had. Marowak. Okay, I know that's there for Toad. I mean, it looks like a pretty solid list. I do like Aerodactyl and Expanded. I remember when I uh, made a video on that. It was one of my most liked videos back when um, Grafton um, did good with that deck. So that's good. I don't know why I just checked my friends list. But we are going to get another game with our deck. We showed it off there of how we can lock them. And it looks like we're up against Lon Zoark or Galissapod Zoark. Galissapod Zoark is a little bit tougher to beat because they play Grass Energy. But the Grass could be Execute, so who knows. We are losing the coin flip, which I don't like. It's better to go first, because if you can get the turn two Giratina lock off, then we should be good. Alright, we're going to open up with Lele. We have Comp Search, so I think I'm actually going to open with Lele. I don't really want Giratina to take damage. I know it's a weird play to do this, but... I mean, I could also just bench the out. Let's just open with Lele, because I'd rather Lele take damage than Giratina. So we'll see a Bridget. We'll see if he's playing Wimpod or not. Yep, it's Galissapod. Alright, that's not good. Galissapod is going to be a bit of a pain to deal with. <sighs> yeah, Galissapod is going to be the bane of my existence this matchup. Alright. Let's see what my opponent does. I think that's basically going to be his turn. No, an Ultra Ball. Okay, the Seeker is a good discard. And he's actually driving Zork now. I mean, I might as well let him. Hmm, I don't know what his hand is, though. I don't know. So we'll do Comp Search. We'll get rid of these two. I could end him. I mean, his hand is probably... Going to be Sycamore and Zoark, and probably like a Float Stone. Just, you know, let's be real here. That's going to be his hand because he's playing against me. One Double Dragon Energy is prize. That's interesting. Um, Alright. Oh, and Noivern's prize too. Okay, that's kind of bad because I kind of like Boom Burst. So we'll see. Oh my. <laughs> Three <DSC. clears throat> Yikes, that's not good. This is a pretty terrible hand. Oh. I think I just pass. I think I hold the Fighting Fury Bell. Actually, no, I'm going to attach it. I don't know. I got to make it look like I have a good hand so he can end me or something. Because ain't no way I'm going to Sycamore away all those VS Seekers. Not going to happen. Alright, let's see what his hand is. Again, I'm probably guessing it's gonna be Sycamore Floatstone and whatever he drew. Let's see. So we're gonna see the trade. Let's see if he has a supporter. I mean, assuming he did the Ultra Ball, he would have saved it for Lele, so I'm assuming he has like a supporter or something. It seems weird that he would just Ultra Ball for Zoark. Gotta watch out for the special energies he's gonna put down, and there it is. Yep, there it is. N and N. Okay, thank you. At least it's an N and not a Sycamore, because well, obviously we needed to be end here. Let's see. Alright, that's a little better. Not really the best hand in the world, but I think what I'll do is go Geomancy here and try and buy some time. We'll see if he get, ends up going Galissapod here. I mean, best case scenario... Okay, I was gonna say best case scenario we could ace roll a lele go from there. So what we'll do is we'll grab aromatis and we'll see how long it takes him to get this Golisapod online. Kinda sucks, man. We're not we're not able to get this lock up. And this is one of those matchups where you need to get the lock off early and make it work. So we're gonna have to do fairy transfer here so we can hopefully draw something. Might have been better maybe to keep Lele in the active spot. Alright, so we'll do double Geomancy here. 
And then next turn, I guess we can hit it with Xerneas. I don't know. We'll see. Probably not. I'm probably just going to charge up my Giratinas. We'll see if he knocks me out. He's going to need to find like a Guzma or something. He's probably going to take a knockout on Aromatis with the Golisopod here. Or Zoark, it's my guess. So Bridget, that's a discard. Sidowoodo is a bit annoying too. It also means I can't get a Lele out of this or bench any more Spritzies until Aromatis gets knocked out. I can't even mention my annoying bat. There's a Guzma. Yep, there we go. He's going to take out yep, Aromatis. Figured. It's actually short on the knockout. He's only doing 80 damage. So he needs to get another Pokemon into play or like a muscle band to knock me out. Okay, Via Seeker. That's two Via Seekers in the deck. Okay, that's a knockout. Okay. Where do we go from here? Well, I think we just keep Geomancy. We can't really do anything. Okay, there we go. That's a good draw. Not really that it's helping me for him. Because he can... Oh, oh there's a Spritzy. Okay. Um, Still no, like, double dragons or anything. Alright, I guess we're doing Geomancy again. At least this way, both my Giratinas can be built up with Double Dragon now. Good thing too, Xerneas Break actually can take a hit here because he's resistant, so... He's not really... He's only doing 100 damage max, unless he plays Muscle Band and Kikui. Or Guzma. Or he can go into Glissapod and Crossing Cut me too. So we'll see if he knocks out my Xerneas. If he doesn't, Xerneas could be a potential thing, but the only problem is our hand is so bad, we still can't really go anywhere with it, so... Don't look like we're going to be able to attack him with Chaos Wheel. We need a Chaos Wheel at some point. Like, if we don't get this going soon, like, this could be bad. The two VS Seegers, though, is a good thing to see, but he's probably got Puzzle. He's not the greatest situation to be in. Now, let's see what he's doing. He has a huge hand, which you can't really do anything about with N. Computer search, which is probably gonna grab him the Guzma or Golisopod, and he's got the Guzma via Seeker in his hand. Probably Golisopod, I'm guessing. Yep. And he has a Guzma. He's gonna hit my Giratina or my Spritzy. Yep. Oh my dude, I called it. Oh my gosh, I'm so good at this game. Not really. Hmm. Best thing we can do is. Go into Xerneas Break. But yeah. Not good. See, when you can get the lock off against Zoark, it's like really good. But we are not able to do that. We are just not drawing very well. We could even see a field blower. Oh no, wait, no. I was going to say, we could see a field blower knock it, but it's not going to happen. Annoyingly, too, field blower Coco would knock me out in the future. So that's kind of bad. We draw that now. Hmm, I could just knock out Soda Widow here, I guess. I think I'm just gonna hit him with Xerneas, honestly. Other oh, Lele's prize. Alright, we have all of you seekers, so hopefully we can draw soon. I don't wanna have a dead hand forever. I wish we were knocking him out though. I'm actually gonna put the belt on, this way he can't like cross and cut me or something. I'm gonna put that on the Lele too, because Giratina could easily get knocked out next turn. So we are gonna hit him pretty heavy here, unfortunately we can't knock him out. And he's probably gonna do Ace Rolla and then just do another thing. We could see cross and cut knock me out though too. But if he does that, we can Chaos Wheel him. I don't know, it's just tough. The fact that it just took too long to get a Chaos Wheel going, I think that just spells our ultimate doom. Yep, there it is. There's a Crossing Cut. And we are not able to knock this thing out in return. Because we got rid of our Guzma. Unless we draw via Seeker. <sighs> He's grabbing Guzma again. If he knocks out, I think if he just knocks out Giratina here, we're in deep trouble. I think he's going for Field Blower, and 
I think his goal is to knock out my Giratina. Yup, I was right. Yeah, I'm just gonna concede the game. <sighs> Man, I can't do anything because Galissapod didn't need any special energies. And our setup was just too dang slow. Unfortunately, this is how Pokemon works sometimes. So, we're up against Mad Trucker playing Psychic and Water. And I'm guessing he's playing Toad, Sviper. As long as he's not playing any, like, Hammer cards, we should be okay. I guess I gotta start with Lele. I really don't like starting with Lele over, like, Xerneas. I don't know why. We need to start with Xerneas soon. If he's playing Toad, this is gonna be interesting. Yeah, it's Toad, Sviper. I was right. I'm praying he doesn't play, like, Flagrant Spams. Because that is not gonna be good. But again, Toad is one of those decks that uses... DCE, so we lock him from the DCEs, then we're good. So you draw an extra card, you can energy is not terrible. <sighs> I'm not drawing too well, man. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. This is not nice game. Please stop treating me like poop. Uh I could fan club. No, that's stupid. Let's just end him. I don't want to lose any of these, like, cards at all. Like, I want to keep them. So, we'll end them. Let's see what we can get. Okay. Uh, I think we go Ultra Ball, Ace Roller. I'm actually going to grab Noibat. I think Noibat is more important in this matchup. Assuming that I am going to go Lele, I might just attach to the Noibat. Because, like, Noi- I mean, we're only doing 150. Don't know, I'll just put on Lele, I guess, just in case. The plan next turn is to try and attack with Noiburn. It's going to be a little hard to pull off. We're going to need to hit um, a Double Dragon Energy and Aromatis and a Noiburn to pull this off. We'll see if we can. Okay, the Laser got Tails, which is good. Lele, let's see what he grabs. Probably, it could be Bridget, actually. If he has DC in his hand, he might grab Bridget. Nope, Sycamore. Alright, let's see if he quaking punches me. If he quaking punches me, it's going to be a lot harder to find what we need. Maybe, like, one Toad in this deck went back. We already have Distorts, I don't know. Okay, Poison Barb is a little annoying. We do have Field Blower, though, but it's not going to be easy to play when he quaking punches me. Let's see if he hits DCE. No, he's going on the laser. Okay, tails, that's good. Two lasers down the drain is good. Puzzle. Alright, let's see if he finds his double colorless energy off the Sigmar. Unless it's in his hand. Okay, it's not. And let's see if he finds the DCE. Ooh, another bit of Seeker. Trainer's Mail. He might try and dig Shaman here if he has it. If he has access to Shaman, he might go try and Shaman here and dig for, dig for what he's looking for. We'll see if any Survipers hit the board too. Or maybe, maybe, maybe it's just Garboat or Toad. Who knows? Two Survipers. Any Verbanks to follow up. And he hit the DC! <sighs> Four energies in his deck and he hit it. Are you serious? That luck. Oh, man, dude, why do we have to draw that? Oh, that's so bad. Oh, rip. We actually nearly had him here with the thing. Rip, rip, rip. Alright, that's fine. So, I guess what we're gonna do... Is... Do this. Don't know if I want to put the Double Dragon on now. I don't think he's playing Hammer, so I'm, just, I'm gonna risk it and hope he's not playing E-Hammer. And the next turn, if he doesn't get rid of the Fairy Garden, he probably will, though he's probably gonna find Fairbank. Um, we'll be able to Chaos Wheel. Once we get the lock off, guys, might be okay, but it is going to be hard to deal with the Quaking Punch and the, the Laser Verbank. The verbank Viper combo with Poison Bard is going to be a bit of an issue. He got heads, alright. Hopefully we can draw Xerneas or something. Chorus for 9. Oh, I can't look. He's going to get so many good cards off that. <laughs> can't look.
thing is, if we wake up and he doesn't get Furbank, we're in a pretty... I think we'll be okay. Okay, he didn't get it. Now, let's see if we can wake up. Probably not, though. Because, you know, he's playing Toad. Oh, he actually did wake up. Wow. And we do Colrus. Not bad. It is a shame that we're not able to get this Quaking Punch off. Ooh. Could knock him out, actually. It's a shame. Oh, what am I saying? It's a shame we can't get rid of that DC. Uh, I don't think we knock him out. No. Like, I don't even know if it's worth going. Okay, I think it is, because. Alright, let's just see if this pays off. Do I want to do a Romatiz move this off of Noibad and put it on Xerneas? No. I think I just Chaos Wheel. Unfortunately, we're going to take some big damage and we don't have X Max Potion. But the plan is if this Fairy Garden can stick, we should try and go for Noivern. But it's hard to do when our hands look this bad. We can't play. We can barely play any of these cards. The best I can do is do Guzma and try and buy some time. Okay, it's not his roller, which is good. As long as we can keep the Chaos Wheel up, we should be okay. Because I'm guaranteeing he's only playing four DCEs in his deck. And he can't attach any. He can't play Verbank down, that's right. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. He cannot play Verbank City Gym. He can't play Poison Barb either. He can do Laser, but we have Guzma. And before, he's playing two Psychic Energies, so he can try and attack with the Viper for the maximum damage. I mean, if you wanted to, you could attack with the Viper and put a Choice Band on. With the poison damages you're doing, maybe the Viper could be like an unknown sweeper. Okay. We have to do Guzma here. We're going to unfortunately have to lose an energy. We don't knock him out either. Well, we kind of had to do this. I'm going to bring up the other Toad. Best we could do is maybe buy some time. We get one turn we play items, we can go off here, and that's the plan. I just need, I need, if I can get my Noivern online, we're in, we're in good shape. I need to get a max potion off too. Now let's see what he does here. I'm expecting an Ace Rolla. But we aren't poisoned, and he's got one laser left. This is pretty tricky. Okay, via Seeker, which means he's going for Chorus. Alright. And if he doesn't quaking punch me here, we're good. He could still find a float stone, though. He's probably playing two. He might be playing switch two. Uh, I can't look. He's still going to quaking punch me, I bet. Oh, he didn't. Nice. Okay. This is where the fun begins. He conceded. All right. The lock once again worked. And guys, I think I'm going to wrap up the day's video. I don't really have much longer to record anyways. I got I to gotta head off to bed soon because I got school early tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I think we showed off the deck nicely. We showed off the lock. We just also kind of showed off how the deck cannot work. Um, you see, Golisopod Zoark is not a terrible matchup for us. It isn't the best matchup in the world for our deck, though. And you kind of see how that matchup kind of falls apart a little bit. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, games may have been a little bit shorter, but that's kind of... The thing with this deck, too, once you get that lock off, your opponent may automatically just concede the game. And we had a really good turn there, because my plan was to grab Noivern... Attack with Noivern, also computer search for Max Potion, heal my Giratina off completely, maybe try and knock out that Giratina on the bench, maybe I was going to try to go for Field Blower also, knock out, like, we were in a pretty good spot, like, but unfortunately my opponent conceded, but again, we're both playing kind of annoying locky kind of a deck, so I mean, you might get that sometimes, but you can try this deck out for yourselves and expand it, and if you do try it out, let me know how it goes in the comments, I'd like to know if you guys have good results with this deck, if you're able to get the lock off and you're able to kind of beat your opponent. But thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe to help me on the road to hitting 3,000 subscribers, guys. I want to see if we can hit 3,000 subs by summer, at least, or by the end of spring. I don't know. We'll see. 
Thanks for watching the video, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.